Hey guys, welcome back to another vault video. Uh, I quite enjoyed making the last one, it's pretty fun. So, I figured we'd do it again. But, let's get started. So, oh, before I get started, actually, something that maybe some people don't know about. Uh, this season, or like this time of the week, you can actually do a lot of the 17 keys. So you'll see as I open my vault, I did a 17, I think, for my mage. And the reason is because of like the mythic track that's coming in 10.1. So basically, oh wow. <laughs> I'll get back to this in a sec. Uh, but like basically, any item that starts as a 441 baseline, and it has to be baseline or higher, means that it's upgradable to 447 when 10.1 comes out. So, a great segue to this ominous chromatic essence. So you compare it to mine, right? Uh, you see mine is from Heroic, I got this like week one. But this one's 444, so you might say, okay, well, Forgy, this is 3 eye level, do you really care? And it's actually not 3 eye level, it's actually more, it's it's like 7, or 6 eye level, sorry. Because this one is, it will be upgradable to 447 next week, when 10.1 hits. Uh, because the base item level is 441 or higher. Same with this weapon, right? I did the 17 key, because it drops 441 item level baseline on the vault, so yeah. Uh, I could take the helmet, but I mean, Ominous Chromatic is like the most insane trinket it's what you're going to be hunting for, so... I think anything else could have dropped and I'll still take this. So, very happy with that one. Slap it on. Good vault. Was not expecting one. I was expecting my mages to just be sockets, but it is what it is. As you see, we have a long list of characters this week. I decided to like level up some characters, namely my warrior and my rogue, because of the XP buff. Like I originally boosted my warrior one through seventy, but then I decided to level my rogue a bit because he was already like thirty-five. And to my surprise, the leveling is like crazy fast with like the rested XP add-on or whatever. I was doing like a minute and a half per level, which is faster than boosting and obviously free. So, if anyone's looking to level some alts, definitely get get on it this time around. Let's see what we get. Some garbage boots, garbage trinket, and garbage helmet. So this is just a socket, right? Yeah. That's okay. I think this character needs a socket still. Uh, yeah, I could like socket wrist or something. Oh, not that one. I've also been thinking, I kind of want to change this ring because it's heavy mastery and no haste, which kind of sucks. But we'll get to it later. I would have cared more about that character previously, but I actually am potentially switching my like M plus character from my priest to my holy paladin. So because that's the case, I care less about it, especially since it's already geared. Right. Now we get another juicy character a little bit. So this is my druid. This is my raiding cult. Uh, actually, is surprisingly geared. I got like a an Iridius fragment last week, and somehow I'm four four five almost. I did like six mythic bosses last week and one dungeon, I think, or four dungeons, we'll see. But I don't really know what I'm hoping for here. A socket could be nice, I guess, but tier is always nice, trinkets. Okay. Let's see, so we have four for one chest I don't care about. Shring ring, I have like better rings anyway. Cloak, which could go to four for seven. That's something. Uh, this necklace, this necklace is actually quite, like, it's not bad for Boomy. It's not bad at all. And it'll go to 447, which is 6 eye level on mine. Um, compared to Igneous, I don't care about Igneous Flow so, so. so, really, my choices are a socket or these two. So, I think what I will do is this. Uh, let's see here. So, for anyone curious... I'll switch to my desktop. There we go. So we're gonna go to gear compare. Because what we wanna find out is like the value of these, right? So we're just gonna paste my Boomy's talents here. Uh, so what is it, like the Cagney Scorching Talent. So I'm gonna do it at 447 because that's the real value of the item, right? Um, and then just duplicate your sockets, which might not be always ideal, but because obviously if you run a sim again after you change your necklace, odds are your stats are going to change. So I'm just going to, but I'm just going to do the same sockets. Um, 
And the other one was etchings of captive revenant. Four four seven. This one doesn't need any. Thing is, set it to this. One minute five nightly. I don't have the trinket, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's run. So if anything is like more than like a, I would say two hundred to three hundred DPS, I think I would take three hundred DPS because socket is probably worth like five hundred, like five hundred to a bit more. But like I said before, sockets will eventually like they'll be there always, whereas item upgrades aren't always there. Um, I don't care enough about the string because I have double four for seven ring with like really good stats, so this is going to be very minor, I'm sure. Um, the cloak might be the best thing, but the ring honestly is not bad because Boomy can still use crit. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I mean it's it's super super minor, even at four for seven. The neck, I would think maybe the gems could affect it, but I don't think I'm gonna gain more than like 400 DPS from regemming, right? Neither the cloak, 200 DPS baseline. It's it's very mid. So I think this is just a socket on this character, because even though I could get an upgrade, it's it's way too minor to care about. I just take a socket, especially since these drop from earlier bosses anyway. So if I'm really down bad for them, I'll just get them, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. What I might do with that socket is actually, I might not spend it until next week, because I know I get a new spark next week. So it might be smart to, like, keep that one there until then. Like, maybe I can craft, like, four for seven bracers and then socket them, something like that, instead of just sending it straight away. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This is my evoker. Uh, I don't know what I would want on this character. Let me see. I mean, any eye level. A socket's always nice because I have the crafted braces. A ring could be interesting because they're nerfing this ring next week. So it could be nice to get a new ring. Ooh, a belt. Okay. Ooh, those are nice stats too. So we have a necklace. Four for seven. Same stats as mine, basically. It's not going to be that big. This belt, intriguing. So, this belt will be a 10 eye level increase once I socket it. And the stats on it are much nicer than mine as well. Because mine have a lot. <laughs> Excuse me, mine have a lot of verse. Socket is nice, but I think I just take the belt. Like I said, even though the socket is probably a better DPS increase like in the long run. Sorry, in the short term, uh, the belt will always be like, you know, it won't be here next week, whereas sockets will be, especially since that's a 447. So we'll take those. Happy with that. It was one of the lower eye level slots I had. Okay. Let's see. Sorry for that interruption. I have to go AFK for a quick sec. Alright, so Warlock. I think trinkets would be nice, but I'm kind of taking whatever here. Okay, so the, her raid boxes, I mean, since raid boxes are heroic, they're almost always going to be useless, right? It's one of the mythic boxes. Let's see. So a necklace could save me an aspect crest, I guess. But other than that, that's a pretty bad. 447 belt. Crit mastery. Mastery is my best stat, but mine will be 4401. So I guess the question is, what is the Warlock Catalyst item? Let's see, Revival Catalyst. So we check the Revival Catalyst here. So for Warlock, on the belt slot. Hivers, so not something we want. It looks like all the Warlock Catalysts except for Wrists are pretty bad. Even the Wrists are kind of mid. All right. Keep that in the background. Um, okay, so I'm getting six eye level, but I'm losing. I could get crests. See, the thing is, I know this character has like 10 coins. I'm already like overflowed with sockets because I, I can't socket anything else. I could socket the ring, obviously, but I already have a socket for that. Um, so I have two options. Either I take something like belt for eye level, 
And maybe it's an upgrade once I socket it, which very well could be the case. Or I take another socket. I, th I think I'm leaning towards belt. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the belt. Because I, I have way too many sockets already, like way, way too many. Yeah, I, I think I like this. Because the stats on these are not terrible. They're just not amazing. So I think there's some justification in that. I could run a sim, but honestly, I don't care about it that much. So it's not that serious. All right, so DH, this character, I was going to stop playing. And I basically did. Um, but I did one key, I did one key just in case. You never know, like Luda Croc Tusk or something, right? Um, I did do it as Vengeance, not Havoc, though. So we'll see how that goes. Check him Havoc. Yeah. All right, cool. So yeah, Croc Tusks. What is this, man? Homeland Raid Horn. Okay. Is this trinket any good? Let's see. Let's check u.gg. So we're going to look at her Havoc, see if anybody runs this trinket. I assume not. Uh, where's gear? Trinkets. Let me maximize this. I don't know why it's like that. I mean, obviously it's not going to come up as one of the better ones for raiding, especially nor for keys. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty bad. Uh, if you want a more comprehensive list, like, I don't usually like Blood Mallet, but sometimes it can provide some level of information. So we can go, like, Havoc, DH, Home, Land. Oh, it's, it's actually... It actually says it's not bad. I, I, might, not, I might as well take it, right? Because it's going to be 4 for 7, and I, what's 2 coins going to do for me, right? Even though... I'm, I guess I think I'll just take it, because I do only have single target trinkets for the most part. So this could be okay, even though it's a very annoying trinket to play with. But, fuck it. Alright. Now a character I actually care about. Holy Paladin. So this character's gear is actually not bad. I do still have an icon. It is 440, like, eye level overall, but still have an icon. So, really looking for that screaming black dragon skill with leech or something like that. That would be amazing. Um, Ominous Chromatic Essence, obviously. Class trinket could be okay. Um, yeah, any trinkets basically. I do need a lot of aspect, like crests. So if something ends up saving me some, it might not be the worst thing ever. But I think I'd probably take socket in that scenario. Hold it, yeah, hold it, okay. Yeah, ominous chromatic, very nice. So we get. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. This neck was in my vault last week. Okay. Oh, this is a tough choice. I. <laughs> so, I remember somebody in my comment section talking about this trinket, and they were like railing me a little bit for not taking it because it was my best necklace for M plus or something. And I told them that I wasn't gonna play keys on this character. But it appears now that I might be playing keys. Hmm. But spoils is pretty up here. In terms of like what's a good trinket. This is very tough. So people run a lot of verse. Like a lot of verse. Um, see, I... I hear that, and I see that, but the thing is, when I look at people's gear, it doesn't show verse, which confuses me, because I'm thinking, where is this statistic coming from, right? I guess what I could do is I could go on, like, Raider IO. This is if you're, like, the extra skeptical. Find like the best holy holy paladin who's pushing keys. So we'll look at this guy. We'll look at Elasmir. Okay. This guy's running high crit, low verse. And what's his rings at? Crit haste, haste verse. 
Critverse, Hazeverse. Okay, so he definitely has a decent amount of verse. Notice that it has no mastery. And what is Elsmere running? He's running high, low haste, high verse. And then on Onyx obviously is just gonna change that. And then Signet, a Beacon, and a Rashox. See, his ring is not crafted verse though, it's crafted crit haste. That might be because he's still raiding, but like, I mean, he's 3.4, I would assume he's optimized for keys as well. Hmm. See, this is tough. Because on one hand, I do really need a trinket, because Icon is not very good. Um, two minutes, sinks with wings, very powerful. This neck is crit high verse. 7 eye level, or 6 eye level I'm giving up. See, but this is the thing. I could spam the dungeon for the necklace. But I could spam dungeon for his spoils. Which is what makes this hard. Uh, dang. What dungeon is Amulet of Tender Red? That sounds like a Vortex Pinnacle one. Let's see. The keystone. Yeah, it is a vortex pinnacle. Okay, so Prot has more loot. Does Ret have more loot? Yeah, Ret has more. So if I do VP one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight items in this that could drop in a VP. VP is not that annoying to spam, but it's definitely not my favorite. But I mean, I could loot the neck. But I could also farm spoils. But I think I'm sick of farming spoils. At the same time, spoils is not this. Ah, this is a tough choice. It's a very tough choice. What is this trinket? Water beating heart. There's no way this guy actually plays this trinket, right? No shot. Okay. Um... I'm thinking I don't take spoils, to be honest. While it's a good immediate upgrade, I feel like it's just further from this than what the neck would be. Even though it could be a 447 spoils. I feel like an ominous chromatic essence would be better for my group. Obviously a beacon to the beyond. Um, there is other choices, you know? Like the Ward, the Faceless Ire, or whatever it's called. See, because even though this one is more popular than this, it's by very little. And this one's frankly more annoying to use. Like it's more, it's in my cooldowns, which does have reduced value, right? For healing, I feel like. What rain song? Healing spells have a chance to call a flowing anthem, granting haste on this effect. Your healing spells have a chance to cause a ripple, granting that haste. Oh, interesting, okay. That sounds like a decent trinket. It, it gives allies power. This one doesn't. This one gives allies power. This one just does damage. I think I'm just gonna bank on getting like Black Dragon Scale or like one of these two. I think I'm just gonna take the necklace. The guy in my chat will be very happy, I think, with this decision. Yeah. I think I'm doing it. I could take Socket as all, well, which is character does severely lack sockets, but. I th I think this necklace is the right call. Yeah, fuck it. Breaks my heart to take a necklace over spoils, I'm not gonna lie. But I think it's worthwhile. Because once again, sockets will always be there. This ring is not amazing for me to take. To suck it even. So I think we'll call it at that. I don't want to stall too much on this character. Alright, three more characters to go. So this is now, we've entered like Rat City. Uh, this shaman is not as ratty as the other two, but ooh, still not amazing. This one's elemental mainly. Uh, I don't really have plans to play enhancement right now, but who knows in the future. But mostly elemental. Obviously really need a trinket. Friendship sensor is not the most amazing. So yeah, trinket would be ideal. I already have a decent weapon, but a 447 could save me some fragments, I guess. Or some... Uh, yeah, Fragments and Sparks, I guess. 
Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. Well, they heard my talking of weapons. We got them. Okay, so we have a shield I don't care about, to your legs I don't care, braces. Those are nice, but yeah. Haste mastery weapon two hand. High crit low haste weapon one hand. Okay. So these are both upgradable to 447. This one would mean that I don't have to craft a shield. I already have a shield. And this one obviously goes 447, but I think I would have to craft a shield anyway to make that one 447. Which, I mean, I'm not that limited on sparks anymore, right? Like, by the time I actually care about this character enough, I could craft... I even have four aspect quests right now. I could craft a 447 uh, shield straight away. Obviously, it takes away from my other crafted, but it's an enticing choice. Let's double check the stats. I'm pretty sure the stats for Shaman is like high crit, low haste. Um, and I think Mastery is like one of my worst. Yeah, Mastery is my like worst by a good margin. For M plus and for rating. Which means to me that basically this weapon here is probably bad. So I think I do take this. Because it is my basically best stats, right? And I have pretty decent stat shield, and I could craft a shield if I wanted to, so, so I think it is this, yeah. Because while this one would save me a craft, I think I care more about having like decent stats than to just save a craft. So that's very nice, we take those. Alright. I'll craft on that later. Alright, we've entered Rat City now. So this warrior, new project, I hit... 70 and I got invited into a heroic raid within a minute. I walked in with 80k HP. It was not my choice to join the raid for what it's worth. I wasn't like, oh, please get me in. I was just like, hey, what character do you want me to join on? They were like, you don't want to come on Warrior? I was like, I don't not want to come on Warrior. So as you can see, very ratty gear. So loot spec arms because we don't want to loot one hand, right? Uh, obviously, an Ashkander would be great. Any kind of weapon. Would be amazing. Trinkets are okay. Let's see what we get. Okay, so not quite an Ashkander. Tier chest. And then like a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So this is the thing. With this character, I have so much like bad gear that I should just think about like the long run, right? Odds are I could take chest and get tier, but the thing is it's a heroic chest. Or I could take 447 helmet and catalyze it. Once again though, I could just loot like a heroic chest from the raid. And if that happens, that's obviously bad for me. Um, I have two piece right now and I haven't actually, I only killed like seven but I didn't do the first two bosses on this character. So I still have my grape thing. Uh, and I think, what's my off piece? Let's see. Classes and specs. Category warrior. So it's not chest. I think it's legs. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I heard as well. Yeah. So I want legs off piece. Yeah. Um. So that means that chest is quite valuable, but I would need to loot the shoulders. Yeah, shoulders. Or a grape from the last boss. Which is not like terribly unlikely. Um, I think because I could get a decent upgrade from this, like it would save me crests and everything, I think I'd just leave this one in the vault again. Because like, I could loot this and I'd get 3-piece and once I kill the first boss, 4-piece, great. But then if the ch shoulders or the chest drops, I'll feel really bad, right? I'll feel like, oh damn, I just wasted my vault. I gave up 4-7 item. Could even take one of these shit. So I think I'm just going to leave this one here. Yeah. Uneventful, but I think I got to make this choice. All right, the last character. This is the one I leveled up. I did. I bought a boost on the character. I don't even get, care about my guild. It felt bad. I don't want to rat out too much. Um, I'm specced into Outlaw. I think I want to play Outlaw more on this character. I enjoy that spec a lot more. 
So I think I'm going to open an Outlaw loot spec. Just for the Croc test. So we're going to roll the dice just for good RNG. Okay, one buff. Let's see how it goes. A cloak. Not quite what I wanted, but at least it's good verse, which I think is good stats for me. Shame it's a cloak, but it is what it is. Alright. We got four purple items now on this character. Very good. This cloak is 150k. I was like 130, but yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, I mean, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll get as many vaults, maybe more. If 4Chi gets leveled up, my monk. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.